this world chocolate chain let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite type of chocolate just heard someone talking about chocolate today why are you guys talking about chocolate okay now i know here's another thing that has helped me patiently waiting for this game to be installed today we're all about fixing the pie menu or the interactions menu delay i want you to open up your documents folder electronic arts folder the sims 4 and then mods and you might ask me well i have my electronic arts or my mods folder somewhere else the only mods folder or electronic arts folder that is going to be recognized by the game is this one in the documents folder and if you chose to have your sims 4 on an external sc that is fine but you need to create a link between that documents folder and your external device so that you can also have your mods folder on that external device i can create a video on that but that is a whole another topic these are the most problematic ones when it comes to game lag when it comes to interactions lag high menu showing up it's all about mods one thing that really works wonders for me is clicking the type column over here two times you just need to press it two times until all these ts4 script files show up primarily these are the files that we want to first things first write them down you know on your notes and then actually delete them why am i saying that we should write them down because sometimes we would want to have them back once they are updated okay so these are broken mods because our game has another version and these mods were created for a whole another version so so that's why they are broken they are outdated it is the same thing so we need to delete those even though you know that some of them are working we want to eliminate the ts4 script files get back the updated files if we still want to have the mods in our game these are the mods okay so you can press delete or you can just right click and then delete and then i want you to enter the first letters of each mod in the search bar over here click enter because there might be some files that end with package and that are named the same these ones need to be deleted as well we can just right click delete and then boom it's gone and if you don't want to type in the names over here that's totally fine but, but i know that most of you do have like lots and lots of mods if you have the patience to go through your list and actually read the name you can tell whether or not the file is a mod or not so please delete any kind of functional cc that involves you know restaurant mods colors mods school mods live mods anything that adds you know features into your game like live drama we need those gone so that we can eliminate any uncertainties when it comes to our pi menu delay or pi menu not showing up not working so i can give you a very simple example because i have three files left over here all these three are functional cc or you can also name them mods because those are named personality please so it's pretty obvious that those add features in the game you know things like traits zodiac signs adult mods anything like that that ends with package that has like a mod name needs to be gone otherwise if we're talking about cc skirts shirts blouses makeup accessories cc furniture that isn't included in a whole another mod restaurant mod that also comes with furniture those can stay but delete any kind of functional mod learn info obviously it's a mod personality please is another mod or functional cc personality please again another mod uh, by the way i'm just pressing the delete key and that's why it's this disappearing so you can either right click or delete that specific file you can also do the 50 50 method if you have lots of mods i'm gonna make sure to link it right over here because i have a very effective method on how you can quickly get rid of any broken cc and mods another thing that we can do is to go on this pc and see how much free space we have left on our computer so if we are in the blue range blue zone we are totally fine but if we have that red bar you know what i'm talking about whatever case you find yourself in it's always best to improve our situations here's another thing that has helped me i'm just going into my downloads folder because i usually download a lot of stuff that i no longer use in this current moment so i can see like i no longer use this one because i haven't installed don't need these pictures i can delete them so figure out what files 
masks are no longer of need to you and if there are you can easily transfer those i have one beside me right over here i don't know what i would do without this i'm just transferring stuff that i no longer need to have on my computer but i may need at some point so if you find yourself in that situation you can transfer it but if you're not gonna use it anymore you can just delete it free up your space because i'm telling you it piles up so incredibly much like right click on your documents and see i have nine gigs for what for things that i don't use another location where a lot of stuff and usually unnecessary stuff tends to pile up is your desktop so you can either just access your desktop or you can just go right over here click on your desktop i'm pretty sure you can find a few files that you no longer need to sort them in and free up some space it's gonna make your game and your interactions menu you know work a lot smoother another tip for freeing up some space using the sims 4 studio so how are we actually gonna get some free space you can easily view all of your cc without having to open the game so you can see even this broken cc those cc that are broken won't show up properly on this mannequin you can remove swatches that you no longer use or you can remove the entire entire cc completely i have a video on that on how you can install it and how you can actually get rid of cc without opening your game tray importer is another cool program that lets you see broken cc and also lets you remove any kind of households that you no longer use pay attention to that before doing it make sure you no longer use it i have a video on this tray importer with this one you can also remove broken cc the way you want to go about it is you save broken cc as outfits in cas and then you save that specific sim basically you are just gonna delete the entire sim that wears broken cc and all those cc will also go away so check this video out to see how you can exactly and effortlessly get rid of broken cc back to mods the most problematic ones when it comes to menus not showing up interaction delay are those ones that have to do with our ui you might ask what is ui ui is anything that has to do with buttons menus anything that's related to interactions and commands in the sims 4 if you have like ui cheats mc command center more columns make sure to delete them and then update them because i'm pretty sure you want them back in your games if there's one pro tip that i can give you in this whole entire video is delete your mods and update them if there's a game update because most mods do usually get broken after updates if your buttons in the sims 4 are glitched you want to watch this video because i have a quick and easy fix for that we want to reset our sim basically to reset your sim you just need to press Control shift c so three buttons press them all at once if you're using windows you most probably have like two control buttons make sure to use the other one see if it works so Control shift c and then this command bar should show up you want to type in testing cheats base true so let's just say this is the command bar right the testing cheats true okay then enter the Control shift c to close that command bar now i just want you to go on your sim shift click your sim what does that mean you are going to hold down the shift key while also clicking your sims two operations at a time press shift click on your sim and this menu should show up so you want to press reset objects another thing that you can do if this pie menu or interactions menu is laggy or is not showing up is you wanna move out your sim how can i move out my sim you just need to click on this smartphone you know mobile phone you should be able to see an option that says move household do that if you can afford moving into some other place choose an empty lot really like test the interactions on an empty lot because it's way better or in a base game house and see if the same issue occurs it might have to do with your current house there might be some broken cc furniture in there that can interfere with your interactions and if you want to get into an expensive house 
you can watch this video you can basically move your sim in any kind of house you would want if you follow these steps now, some of you might be referring to some other menus not showing up so i'm gonna explain that to you as well if you're talking about this menu not showing up delete any kind of ui mods that you have in your mods folder you know just literally search ui in the mods folder and see if anything shows up and if it does delete those mods i'll have another video that talks about buttons not working ui not working if we're talking about this menu right over here right at the startup not showing up like if this load game resume button don't show up and only the new game shows up we have some missing files and those ones are usually the saves okay saves folder as well as the tray folder so those ones aren't in our documents electronic arts the sims 4 folder that's why those are not showing up because you might want to have your households back but maybe by accident you know just copied and paste or transferred those two folders somewhere else all i want you to do is access the search bar on your taskbar you should have it on your mac as well oh my gosh today's world chocolate day i had no clue let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite type of chocolate let me know right now do you like chocolate cake oh my gosh just heard someone talking about chocolate today why are you guys talking about chocolate okay now i know finding those folders i just want you to type in the search bar tray and see if any folder shows up if it does show up i just want you to right click in it and open file location so as you can see right here if it shows up in a different spot than your usual you know electronic arts folder then i want you to copy it okay copy that folder is on my desktop it shouldn't be on my desktop i just want you to copy it okay then just go into your documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then paste it Control v i just pressed Control v the same thing we need to do with our saves so just search it type it in in your search bar and as you can see right here right click it shouldn't be on our desktop okay we need to copy or cut choose to cut a folder that means that it will no longer be on your desktop but if you choose to copy it and it will be on your desktop as well as in your documents folder wherever you choose to paste it we're running out of space so i need to cut it show more options and paste it the old school way not the control v way are you a control v person or a paste let me know and now boom we have both saves and tray folders into our documents electronic arts the sims 4 so if those folders are missing from your sims 4 folder that's why this resume or load game doesn't show up for you i have another video that might help you with missing files so you can give that a watch if you want to know how to get a better pie menu with even the option to search for certain interactions it's way smoother it is way more accessible let me know if you want me to do a video on that and on that note i'm just patiently waiting for this game to be installed but I will see you very, very soon in a brand new video. Thank you so much for being here.